Hey there. In today's video, I'm going to demonstrate how to set up your custom domain name in system.io. Hi, I'm Brandon. In order to do that, you needed to have already purchased your own domain name. If you haven't done so, follow the link above where I've got a video on how to purchase a domain name using Namecheap. Let's head over to system.io. If you haven't already got an account with system.io, you can come and start here for free. Um, I will have a link in the description below. It is an affiliated link. It doesn't cost you any more to sign up through that particular link, but it does help fund this particular channel going forward. I've already got an account, so I'm going to go ahead and sign in. Right, once you have signed in to your account, head over to this drop down arrow here where you either have a profile picture there if you've uploaded one, head over to settings. Once in settings, head down on the left hand menu here to custom domains. As part of your registration, a subdomain name would have already been assigned to your account. What we're going to do here is go and add our own specific domain name, the one that you've already registered previously. Select here, go and add domain, and here you will come and select your domain. What is important is to remember to add the www subdomain before your domain name when configuring it in system.io. So the domain name that we're going to go and configure here today is brandonskeen.com. We're going to go select save. You'll now be provided with two DNS records that will need to be copied from system.io and input into your DNS registrar. Now that can be anybody like Namecheap, GoDaddy, Google Domains, any one of those. And for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to be using Namecheap as my registrar for my domain name. So head over to your registrar. In this case, it is Namecheap. And once you've logged in there, head down to your domain list. Go and select the domain name that you are wanting to use in system.io. And here you can see that is, here it is brandonscheme.com. And I'm going to go select manage. And just head over to the advanced DNS section. And that'll probably be similar in doesn't matter who your registrar is. There'll be an advanced or a DNS settings section that you're going to want to go and input those two records into. Now, once it's actually loaded, you'll probably find that there are a couple of records that are already listed in there and I'll show you which ones need to be changed. The following two DNS records will be in here by default. We're not going to require them so we can delete them. Just confirm the deletion of both of those. Next we're going to come and add those two records into Namecheap. So head over here, add record and you're going to want to go down to the CNAME record and we'll head back over here because you can see that these are the two C name records that we're going to be entering into our registrar. So what we're going to copy over here is just the www portion of that section. And we're going to head over to here and in our host, we're going to put that and we'll head back to our target information. We'll come and copy that and we will come and place it in over here. And then we'll select add. The next record that we're going to add is going to be an alias record. We're going to do that. And then what you're going to put in there is the at sign. And what you're going to do is go back to system.io and we're going to copy that target information for the very first line that we used. And we're going to come and paste that in over here. You'll see both of those targets are exactly the same. Just this one has an alias record at an at sign and we're going to go and add that. And next we're going to add our last record that we need to add from system.io. Head down to the CNAME record. Head back over to here. And what is important to note is copy that. Everything except that last period or that last dot right at the end of that name. Do not copy that across. Come and paste that. And then we'll come and collect the last target information. Come and get that. Doesn't matter if you got the dot there or not. Come and paste it in there and add that in there as well. You should now have three records in your DNS registration. You should have the two C name records. Remember, it's only the www portion of your domain name towards the target host. The same for your alias record as just an at sign. And then the same target information, those two are, should be exactly the same. And then the third record that we're adding here is the information provided from system.io. Remember that in the host section, you do not want to copy that period over into this section. I just want to clarify that the settings that have 
been put in here are specifically for Namecheap. If you're using any other registrar for your domain name registration, so the likes of Cloudflare or anyone else, there will be a different third setting that needs to be applied to those registrars. Please check the documentation within system.io for that, that all important third record to ensure that your DNS registration proceeds smoothly. So once again, you just need the first, these two records are gonna be the same no matter which registrar you use, but this third record is unique to Namecheap. Next, we're gonna go check whether our DNS records have been updated globally. So what you do for that is you head over to a site called dnschecker.org. So here you come and enter with the www in front of it, brandonskeen.com and we're going to do a search and we'll start to see whether the DNS records have been updated. Now not to worry if some of those are little red crosses as long as you start getting some of the the green crosses that is all good and all of mine are green and that just means the DNS records have updated globally and I've been fortunate enough to have a a, a very fast update of my DNS records. There will be times where you'll have three or four green ticks and then all the rest of them will be red crosses. Don't worry, those red crosses will transition over to green ticks as well. It just takes time for that information to propagate around the world. And with that, your domain name is now pointing through to system.io. The one final step that we need to now go and do is head back to your, is, is to head back to system.io. If you don't see your domain name listed here initially, just do a refresh of this page. Upon refresh, you will see that your domain name is now listed at the show instructions button. That will bring back those DNS records that we entered into our DNS registrar, should you ever require them again. So what, scroll back up to the top of your page, head over to blogs, once again, this assumes that you've actually created a blog already. Now you want to get your domain name to resolve to your particular blog that you have created. So you head over to your blog that you've created, head over to the little cogwheel, that's the blog settings at the domain section and select the domain name that you have just registered. Once you have selected that and selected save, as soon as you type in the the domain name www.brandonskeen.com it will then display your blog's home page so let's go out of there i'll show you the same thing under funnels so if you select funnels and you go also once again to whatever funnel you have already created note you need to have already created this head over to funnel settings once again it's just the cogwheel and you go and select the available domains that you've got there and go and select the one that you want to resolve to that particular funnel and then go and select save as soon as you type that in it will then head off to that particular funnel if you've enjoyed today's video and you've gotten value out of it don't forget to like and subscribe and activate the notification setting on this youtube channel finally if you'd like to find out about building online assets and how to make money using the internet i'll have a link in the description below on how you can get started until the next time have a great day